Today, I'll take a step back to catch my breath. Don't go away. Hey everyone, and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul, coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Today, in fact, I am taking a step back to a a simpler level of build as I'll be doing a simple restoration of a very simple matchbox. Let's crack on. Sometimes getting back to basics can be so cleansing. The stress slips away and you have a moment to recharge. I'm really looking forward to this straight up matchbox restoration and a quick recharge. This casting is the Matchbox 60A Morris J2 Pickup. It's a simple casting with no interior or glass. It's just a body, base, and wheels. This car has two very short posts, and it essentially is taking the notion of screwing the casting back together out of play. I'll have to think of something else. With a little bit of tough love, I can go ahead and pop that base off the body. And now I can see what I have. Here you can see the infinitesimally small posts. A real problem for screws. I'm just going to use my rotary tool to grind off the flared ends of the axles. This way I can remove them from the base. Just like that, the casting is apart, so I can drop the body and the base into the warm liquid goo. Simple cars like this, they don't take very long for the citrus strip to work, so I can pull it out in like just an hour and get back to work. Really, all this casting needs is a, a good clean paint job and some replacement decals to look like brand new. I'll run the parts to the sink for a bath. And once free of the residual stripper and paint flex, I can get a good look at the body. So, why do I brush a car like this when it's just going to get a simple opaque paint job? Well, partly it's a force of good habit, but it also slows me down and gives me a great chance to look over the entire casting and think about what my next step is going to be. There is a ton of discussion in the diecast community about airbrushes and rattle cans. Clearly, I'm in the airbrush camp. I think they are just very versatile, and if you ever want to do other projects, you'll already have the equipment and skills that you need. So, that's how I roll. Now, there is nothing wrong with using rattle cans, and you can get some damn fine results, but for me, I just love the control and the versatility. When doing a straight up matchbox restoration, I found that Tamiya gloss paints give me a really authentic look. I don't need a clear coat or anything. The, the sheen that comes from the gloss Tamiya is just about perfect. And that's what I'll be doing here today.
With that baby blue paint job back on the casting, I can now turn my attention to the builder's decals. I ordered a set of decals for this casting a long time ago and I'm finally planning to use them on this casting today, but I quickly grow concerned about them. The decals are on a clear carrier, but it is very yellowed and I'm worried about how it's going to look. Well, it looked like crap. I couldn't decide what to do until it was too late and so I ended up stripping the body again, repainting it and making my own decals that you see here. In the end, I think my decals worked out fantastic. They look great, so I'm happy again. A little sad I had to retrace my steps, but hey, that's this game. The base for this casting is going to get a nice layer of satin black paint from, in fact, a rattle can. And while it dried, I washed the wheels and polished the axles and now I can go ahead and put the wheels back on the base. I'll take the base down to the garage and my drill press and I can use that to round off the end of the axles and lock it all back together. Since I didn't have enough post here to really screw this car back together, I'm just going to use this Gel Control CA glue because it is crazy strong stuff. So I'm just going to use the glue to glue the base back onto the body. There just really isn't enough material here to drill out the post and put a screw in without going through the bed. So that's just not going to work. Glue it is. With the casting finally back together, I can do a bit of detail painting and then call this one done. Simple, yes, fun, very much so. So with no further ado, here's my restored Matchbox 60A Morris pickup truck. It was fun and simple, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell. If you have any questions or comments of any kind, please leave them down below. I love to talk with you guys. I love to hear your thoughts, and I love to communicate back and forth with you guys. So please, leave a comment. I love you all, and always remember, life is too short to be anything but happy.
Until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying be good.